What's up Xbox moderators, my name is Sacramento Love. So remember my last video, Xbox ban me again or whatever, in that video, I showcased the post I found in the Xbox looking for groups. You know, the usual catching predators and scammers, <laughs> more on her later. Well, the time has come to talk about the Xbox nude scam. Or something, I don't know what to call it, let's just call it a nude scam. I had a conversation with this guy, yes, it's a guy, trust me, you'll find out. But the way this works is, this guy poses as some Xbox e-girl or streamer or something, tells people he's selling nude pics, then either scams them or sends them pictures from the internet, ultimately scamming them anyway. So I was in the Xbox looking for groups and saw this gentleman's post, looking for a owner check my bio too. I got curious. So I checked out his bio and apparently it said, I sell NSFW pics. If you don't know what NSFW stands for, it stands for not safe for work, meaning pornographic images or nude images. But my question is, why are they selling this on Xbox? Surely they can make a bigger profit on Instagram. Perhaps this picture isn't technically them? So I hit this guy up with, you sell pics? Yeah, I guess. Not sure why they said they guess, but I kept going. You have a mic? I'd rather be sure you don't sound like a scammer if you think that you shouldn't bother at all. This was my lame attempt at trying to get them into a party, but this is a man, so a party invite was not gonna work for this guy. And I wasn't in the mood, so I just confronted him head on, like just right there. I was like 90% certain this was a scam anyway. And he said, I was trying you, if you think something is a scam, don't bother with it. So I told him to prove it. He asked me what I wanted, all I wanted was a party invite, so he told me to ask nicely, and I did. Reason why is because I really wanted to get into a party with him. This would have made the video a little more interesting, and a confrontation would have been so much easier. I'm dealing with my post. If you want something, I can talk more you. Two, if you don't, not really interested. Yeah, uh, here's the thing, it's not about you being interested, it's about me being interested. <laughs> so I confront this guy again, avoiding a party invite is most likely a scam. I'm just trying to make money, I can't stop doing that to talk to you when you don't want anything. That's a waste of time. If you don't want anything, don't bother me. I love that Beatles reference. <laughs> Don't Bother Me was actually a good song, but I'm not here for that. My problem is this guy's excuse is wasting time to talk to me when he needs to make money. But texting takes more time than talking. And he can literally work while talking to me, so his excuse is not really adding up. It's not. All I want is proof, but you're clearly a male, which is why you don't want to party invite. Proving to a potential customer isn't a waste of time. And uh, no, I wasn't actually a potential customer. I was 90% certain this was a scam. If it wasn't, then you're selling nude images and possibly soliciting them to kids on Xbox. So you're in the wrong either way. You just said it's against Xbox's rules, you aren't buying anything stop messaging me and since this guy said to stop messaging him I had to abide because it would be considered as harassment at that point interestingly though I was still banned for harassment so I don't understand why I got banned anyway so the conversation ended there but I wasn't done as you guys know I am a top 5 investigator so I took a picture of their gamer pick then reverse searched it since I don't have the original dimensions of the gamer pick I couldn't find the original image but I found something interesting. I first found this image, there was definitely a resemblance. The highlights, the nose, and the mask. So I kept looking. I eventually came across the girl that was in the gamer pick, it looked like she was a streamer, but she wasn't that type of streamer. Apparently this is a Russian porn star, well not really a porn star, it's not really porn, but they get naked in front of a live stream to paying viewers, so it's, it's that. And trust me, there was a lot of inappropriate shit in there. So back to Lanfear, he was probably attempting to sell snapshots from the service to unsuspecting simps, which is a scam by itself either way because this is not you, you're trying to profit off of someone else's work, and you can get these from the internet for free. But not everyone knows this, but my question is, why on Xbox? I can promise you that they're not making a profit from this. No one is gonna go through all the trouble of buying those NSFW picks or whatever you wanna call them. So when he said this was a waste of time, it really wasn't a waste of time. He just didn't want to go into a party because that's definitely a guy. He was not making a profit. He was trying to make a profit, 
but it's Xbox, he was not making a profit. So with the stolen picture and the poor excuses of not joining a party, just proves this isn't you. This is from a Russian site that features her. <laughs> So in terms of the ban, uh, I, I don't know why I got banned. Uh, the email I got, so I tried to appeal the suspension, or the permaban, whatever you want to call it, and uh, they said they'll get back to me in like 24 hours, so they did. They sent me the nonsense generated email, whatever you want to call it, the NPC response you get from Xbox, uh, safety, priest team, whatever you want to call them. And uh, they, they just basically said, well, we cannot give you further information, but, you know, we discovered that you are harassing other players through, you know, written and verbal communications. We cannot allow that, you know, you, you, you caught a scammer, you made a scammer post on looking for groups humiliating him. We, we cannot have you doing that. That is harassment. So we decided a perma ban is the best solution to the situation. Like, are you kidding me? Like, that, that guy was scamming. So, yeah, obviously, I mean. I mean, that's harassment though. So, oh, okay, I, I don't get the logic though, I really don't. So in terms of this situation, which I know this encounter didn't get me banned, if you guys didn't know, if you guys need some catching up to do, Lexicutioner148 was the account or gamer tag I used to talk to this nude scammer, whatever you want to call him. But I guess all of this just tells you the priority list, which means basically that you can scam people. Well, scamming technically isn't allowed, but scamming is not as bad, you know? You could scam someone for, you know, nude pics, which is a clear violation to Xbox, especially with kids and looking for groups. You know, and you could scam people for money and all that, but you know, if you harass someone and you know, tell them you're a third party moderator and you know, just tell them that what they're doing is not allowed as per the community standards as I follow, that's a definite ban, you know, ban that guy, you know, he's telling people that they're not allowed to do that, that's our job, you, you gotta ban him, that's harassment. I can go on and on about this right now, but I'd rather not, I mean, I don't want to rant about it because, you know, ranting is gonna get you banned, you're not allowed to rant about bans that are wrongful because that's just gonna get you banned and then you know Xbox enforcement is gonna watch and go like you know you're harassing us with with these accusations and you know this 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 whole thing is ridiculous if the guy is scamming someone and you tell him that he can't do that that's apparently harassment you know the Xbox safety priests that reach out to me telling me that I was harassing someone through my videos that is fucking Bullshit. I guess the moral of the story is that, you know, if you were scammed over Xbox Live or pretty much anywhere over the internet or in real life, I don't know, then I'm sorry to tell you, but there's nothing anyone could do. Scamming is technically legal, you know? You could scam someone, that's totally illegal. <sighs> you know, this is, uh, this is so boring. I, I gotta go. You know, scamming is bullshit. I'm done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. I would appreciate that very much. With that being said, I thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I am out. Goodbye.